Hey guys, Sega Camp here, and I thought I'd just, just I'm gonna give you a little update on stuff happening so far. Just first off, though, maybe I'm a, I should say I'm a, I already did them open them my Super Street Fighter 4. I think I'm gonna keep this 3D thing though because it's it's really neat though. Like even as well, some of the Blu-ray movies that my parents just have, I'm a, they always keep the outside cover because I have that 3D look thing. Like one good example is actually the Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince in a box, like. Like, when you look at the actual box, though, it's supposed to show Harry Potter and Professor Dumbledore, but if you look at the 3D thing, it switches right between Harry Potter and Professor Dumbledore to Professor Snape and Malfoy, which is kind of weird. I know. But what I really have to complain about the 3DS cartridges is this. That little flinge right there at the end. I don't know why you guys at Nintendo have to have that little flinge thing I'm, uh, sticking out. It's just in my extra packaging. Like, give me a minute. Like, if you are well aware, though, I do... If you guys seen my uh, collection of Rainbow Stylus, I also mentioned that I also have these extra little slots for all my DS games. And look at that! I can't even get the thing in my here inside the D... Inside my cartridges, like... I'll try getting it in there, and as you see, it just, um, uh, I can't at all. It looks like it is, but trust me, it's not. <laughs> like, why did you guys have to add that little extra bit at the end? Like, why? If it wasn't there, then maybe I could be able to slip this into my, with all my other DS games, but I can't. Oh, well. Anyway, though, uh, I think uh, the um, uh, yesterday, I mean, no, not yesterday, the day when I was finally started making my, uh, the beginning of my Pokemon walkthrough, I had, like, over 47 emails. At first, I thought, I'm a, at first, though, I thought I'm a, it was just someone was, like, trolling the crap out of my channel again, but I just found out that that was actually from the AB, the training for the ABW tournament that I posted, I'm a, I'm a back. I'm a just before I started the walkthrough. I'll be honest. I'm a most of the, the main reason why I made that was just because uh, Yoshi guy guy told me if I actually am a win the ABW tournament, the charade will come to an end. But I still have some bad feelings that it might backfire and people will start calling me an ass by God. I don't really want that to happen though. I really want to. I really like this whole charade of me being an ass by to come to an end. It's been like going on since like last year, and I really want to go to an end. But to be honest though, I actually really did enjoy last year after losing that, losing the. Uh, to be honest, I really did enjoy him. Uh, I'm a. I'm a March right into June I'm a, of last year. Like spring was just arriving. It was looking nice at that. Uh, I don't know, but for some weird reason, I actually really miss him doing all the videos that I did from last year. I'm a, I'm a, after losing the AB, after losing the acapella context of Druix. Then they had to be complete jerks and put me in the first one. Well, I actually, I'll be honest. I really did enjoy the first ABW tournament, even though I did end up winning and ended up becoming the ass pike. Or the king of the ass fights. I was about to say the ass fight king, but that would not sound right. Hmm. <sighs> well, I think I'm I'm uh, pretty much done now. And look forward to a new and uh, look forward to an old acapella I did in the past again. So, so yeah, I think I better. I'm gonna go get that. I'm a old acapella. Re I'm a record it again. Yeah, I don't really have it, so I have to record it all over again. So, until later, I'm going to see ya.